mastering precision and molding perfection for indian tool makers that is what indian machine builder lmw is looking at this die and mold india 2024 exhibition at bombay exhibition center organized by tagma india i am having with us shashank vi joshi yep, who is you. the head of sales thank you of lmw thank you sir how was uh, the uh, experience uh, you are getting for the last two yeah. days here yeah it's a response is a very fantastic we have been participating in this exhibition since how many years i don't recollect but almost every exhibition last year also we did participate we got a fantastic response and so is uh, now also in last two days that is yesterday and today response is very good so they, this gives us a perfect platform for us to meet our customers in mumbai as well as people come from uh, right from south gujarat from pune nasik many parts of the maharashtra i must say that shashank sahab was actually heading the western region of lmw now not just western part he is promoted and he is now heading the entire india first of all congratulations thank to you, that thank you very much thank so, you so i think your experience and expertise can help more and more people in the indian manufacturing let's hope so. thank you sir now i would like to see that you know yeah i have seen that you know there are j series three yeah. vertical machining centers yeah. you are having yes. you are also having a uh, turning center yes so if you can just tell us about yeah. the exhibit here we are displayed four products this is our high um, uh, high productivity drill tap center we have displayed this comes with a uh, spindle rpm of 24000 21 tool atc with high rapids tool change time is just 1.2 second machine is capable of drilling 1 mm hole and still the spindle power if you see it is capable of delivering 26 kilowatt so if if you, even if you have some heavy milling for short duration machine is capable of it and at the same time uh, rpm is 24000 it is capable of drilling one 1 mm dia drill hole so that's how it is a high productivity uh, high with a higher rapids and it's a value for money and the rpm is also very important for dime dime workers right yes, precision so what they need to bring definitely definitely so uh, you need to have for if you are using the smaller cutter small ball nose cutter you need to have the rpm so my, my, this machine is capable of delivering 24000 rpm yes. now we have j series this is our popular series we have j1 j2 j3 up to j6 recently we have added j7 and j8 also now what we have done is we have increased the specs increase the features now we have increased the strokes on y and z axis on j1 to j3 we have y and z axis uh, stroke of 500 whereas from j4 to j6 it is 600 by 600 now tool change uh, time is reduced from 2.5 from our earlier series to 1.9 second number of tools now we give 24 tool atc as a standard though we have increased the specs the foot footprint we are reduced by almost uh, 10 to 15 well, uh, close to 15% so it's again a value for money and the main feature of this machine this is with the inline spindle so here the acceleration and deceleration instantaneous you send the uh, you save the time on acceleration deceleration at the same time we offer this machine with 8000 rpm spindle as a standard and we can give you up to 12000 so this makes that makes the machine very ideal for the die mold machining we have been supplying this machine to this industry and we do get repeat orders also so people are now talking about speed market yeah that is a need because you need your people need more very faster yes quicker yes. and yes. with high precision yes. i think jbi is a very this is uh, a perfect machine perfect. for which will which meets the all the requirement of the dian mold set Yeah, this is the machine. This is, we call it as a moving column machine. Here, yeah, the component remains the stationary. Now, your machine dynamics remains the same, and it is irrespective of the component weight. So, all the uh, three axes are on the tool. And this machine, we are we are displayed with twelve thousand RPM HSK sixty uh, three HSK spindle, and the spindle power is seven point five up to fifteen kilowatt, and with the table size of six hundred by four hundred. This comes with a twenty six tool. servo magazine and the tool change time is just 0.9 second this is with a high acceleration of 1 1g so your non cut time is greatly reduced and since the component is stationary you get a better positioning accuracy because the machine dynamics remain the same and these are irrespective of your uh, component weight so this is the state of art machine what we are displayed 
and uh, this is ideal for diamond machining also and for production as well where you need a uh, uh, high speeds and high feeds multiple multiple so we have seen three machines three vertical yes. machines and now this. we have the only one turning center displayed here this is s turn one this is a next generation turning center our smart series is very popular and uh, we have again enhanced the features now we have made the machine more compact chip and coolant disposal is on the rear side earlier on the smart city it was on the right side so machine was occupying more space we have increased the rapids turret we are giving 25 by 25 tool shank as a standard a25 is the spindle with the 42 bar capacity and uh, we are offered here we are offered machine with the 8 inch so turning diameter maximum is 300 uh, 320 and the turning length is 300 and all the features are standard so this machine is very ideal for job shop fittings we brought this machine considering the uh, industry what we are in mumbai that's uh, especially fittings and the job especially general in masai area yeah, and all yes, those things there are a lot general of general injuries so fitting. that's how it is we have four models to offer but i think even for the die and mold they need certain injuries yes, those things where yes, turning is very yes, much required yes yes Sir, we have seen uh, three uh, vertical machining centers. Yes. Uh, yeah. JD, this is a drill tap. Yes. J yes. series and G, JG. Yes. yes. And uh, JD, we seen that twenty-four thousand RPM. Yes. Jazz, but then other two is having twelve thousand, ten thousand. Yes. So, what is the kind of machines one should choose for their particular usage? How we can define that? Uh, now, see, uh, uh, you choose the machine depending on your application. Now, suppose if you need a very high, uh, high uh, RPM. Now in this case, 20, if, you, if you want to machine the aluminum components or the, if you want to have this uh, 1 mm or 2 mm drill, you naturally you need a high RPM oh, yeah. machine. So you go with this. Uh, this machine we have specially developed for the electronic industry. So where the uh, your cutter sizes are small and uh, uh, mostly the material is aluminum. So this machine is very suitable for that application. For die and mold, you can have, you can go with the J series machine. And of course, for the production also, this machine is very suitable. And this is again with the high, with the higher rapids, and it is has a multiple application. Very flexible machines. Yes. And uh, the machines which take very less space, yes. but gives maximum output. Output. Yes. I think that is what. Yes. Uh, perfectly their uh, slo slogan here. Yes. At uh, die mold, that mastering precision and molding perfection is, uh, I think, it's on live demo. Yes. And uh, Shashank sir. Thank you for sharing your valuable you. time and give me Shell W all the very best. Thank you. Thanks. My pleasure. Yeah. Thank you.